Mouse Mouse here with Giggly Chickity. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it may be. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm talking about um, Hems products. Hems products, oh my gosh, like, um, this is my first time using Hems products um, hairline. I actually used their lotion. I picked it up in Ulta. Um, one time because like my face is very very oily I have very oily skin so I wanted to try something different for my skin so I tried the Hemp's lotion and I actually liked it because it wasn't oily and it wasn't um, drying to my face because I have like little areas in my face where I have dry spots and sometimes they tend to peel but that lotion keeps my skin from drying out so I tried that lotion and then so you know everything that's going on about Diva Curl I was like what the heck can I try I mean yeah there's Shea Moisture yeah there's um, Camilla Rose and all the other products but I wanted to try something that had um, like a, a 32 ounce or a 1 liter because like I said I have family and we all use the hair products I have two boys and I have a husband and we all use um, shampoo and conditioner so I need something that's going to last me I don't want a little bottle that's going to cost $10 and then I kind of have to keep going to get it so I'm like oh I don't know what made me look this up but I seen that Hemp's had their um, hair care. So I'm like, oh my gosh, well, let me look this up and let me see if anybody's tried it. And there's some girls that have tried it, there's even men that tried it, and everybody likes it. The only person that didn't like it was, dang, I forgot her name, but I'm gonna put it up here. Um, yeah, she didn't like it, but she tried something different. I'm trying the, um, triple moisture I have the conditioner this is what the conditioner looks like and this is I got both of them for $33 this is the um, shampoo so I'm like oh like let me try these because because it says it's vegan and gluten free and all that good stuff and it says moisture and it doesn't say just moisture it says triple moisture triple so I'm like let me try this so I'm like before I even try this let me look up stuff about it before I buy it because I don't want to spend money on something that is not good so so I'm like what the heck is hemp's like what is it what is their products so basically they have hair care they have sunscreen they have all kinds of stuff and usually when like when you think of hemp you think of like weed. so it's like is there weed in it it's not weed it's a it's a hemp seed oil what's a hemp seed oil hemp is um Hemp seed oil helps maintain the moisture and the texture, providing, um, preventing water water loss and adding more t moisture to the hair and scalp. This is especially important to um, drier cl climates and weathers, uh, where the hair tends to hair loss of moisture quickly. So it prevents the 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 breakage in the hair. It promotes hair growth. It conditions and softens. It strengthens. Let's see. Um, your hair is made up of 90% protein of hemp seed oil. Similar contains 25% protein and contributes to keratin information during the internal growth cycle of strands. This extra boost of protein helps the hemp seed oil ensures that the hair grows healthier and more vibrant. So I'm like, yeah. That sounds good so whatever that's in that condition is the hemp's that's in it so is it sulfate free like that's what I really want to know it doesn't say that it's sulfate free but I don't see any sulfates in here and I looked at the curly girl um, what to avoid 
it says it has benazite acid that is in like um, the beeswax chapstick and that is also in Cantu this doesn't dry out my hair um, it didn't dry out my husband's hair it didn't dry out my two boys hair so that was good on the shampoo um, it actually has a lather you don't need a lot of it um, what does this conditioner and um, shampoo do so the key factors it enhances with 100% um, hemp seed oil we know that hips plantain hydration we know that it's paraben gluten free and 100% vegan that's good um, not drying everything that I said it says it deeps moisturize um, the hair um, enhanced with grapefruit and sparkling peach so the smell of it it smells like a man's um, cologne but fruity if you see what I'm It has like a little bit of like a cologne, but it's fruity. This is the uh, the shampoo. The conditioner. It smells the same, but a little bit lighter. The uh, shampoo is stronger. It actually doesn't linger. Um, I wanted a um, gel. They don't have a gel, but there's a line in the UK. They have a hemp's also, but theirs is like hemp's cultural culture, and it says UK. But I picked this up on um, Amazon. Um, it says it's made with pure organic hemp seed. This doesn't have any alcohols in it. It has a whole bunch of stuff that's going to keep your hair moisturized. So this is the. Um, the gel that I use it doesn't flake it has a good hold it's a medium hold it's not a heavy hold it felt like how um, Diva Curls con um, not conditioner their gel their how it feels like it's not heavy and it's kind of lightweight it felt like that it wasn't sticky or anything um that's about it on the conditioner and shampoo now I am going to show you guys um, how I used it and and what it looks like the next day and the next next day so keep watching for that and um, I'll be right back to tell you guys how I feel about this shampoo and conditioner and gel so stay tuned Okay, so now we are getting to the shampoo and the conditioner. So before you start to shampoo your hair, you need to make sure your hair is wet. And after your hair is wet, you can go ahead with a, a reasonable size of shampoo and put that on your scalp. Don't put it like all over your hair. Just make sure it's on your scalp because... When you wash out your hair, the shampoo will go towards your ends and it'll clean the ends of your hair. Um, when you put like all the product on your hair, then you're just using conditioner. You don't need to put, um, you don't need to do shampoo like that. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out and make sure when you are rinsing out your shampoo that it is all rinsed out because you don't want to leave all of that conditioner I mean shampoo in your hair you can leave conditioner in your hair but don't leave shampoo in your hair so after I wash this out I am going to go with the conditioner and with the conditioner when you put it on your hair you need to start from the ends and work your way up and try to avoid putting on the scalp but if you do it's okay just lock, just make sure you rinse it out thoroughly because you don't want that left on your hair. It like covers the um your pores and it leaves them no way to breathe. 
<laughs> so this conditioner it is actually good for detangling. That's what I want it for my son's hair and for my hair because I don't like a conditioner that doesn't detangle your hair, especially if you have curly hair. I think it's just really annoying. So after I finger detangle, I go in with the brush and I just comb his hair to make sure he has no knots. This brush, I, I love these brush. Like It's like little hand, like they're scalp brushes, but they're so good for detangling. I haven't found like a great detangler brush. Well, I have, but I lost it and then... I don't, I just didn't want to pay that much for it, but I paid like $5 for four of these little, um, scalp, scalp, uh, massager, massager things, but they're, like I said, they're really good for detangling. So after I make sure I wash all of the conditioner out of his hair, I go in again and I put a handful of conditioner, like a lot of conditioner on his hair. <clears throat> Um, after I rinse out the first conditioner, make sure their hair is like all the water is drenched out, is drenched out because you don't want all the conditioner to be left with water and running out. So that's what I did with that. See how like a whole bunch of conditioner, like this is what makes your hair like feel amazing is a lot of conditioner. Then after that, I go in with a coat of gel, like as much as conditioner I put as gel. It's the best combination ever. Okay, this is Chevy's hair completely dry. This is how it looks. It looks really good, actually. This is gel and conditioner. It's all bouncy. Chevy, stop. Okay. What are you doing? I'm Superman. Okay. <laughs> So it's really soft. It's not hard. It doesn't have a hard cast on it. What's a hard cast? It looks, it's shiny. It's just, it looks good. And what's a hard cast? So you know when I put like the gel on your hair? I always put gel. Yeah. It either makes it hard or it makes it soft. soft. Oh. It actually made it really, you feel soft. it? It's it really soft. soft. It's really soft. So yeah, that's how it came out after the wash. I love my mom. Aww. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to make a video of how long it was still like kept up and still manageable. So this is the what day is this? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. This is the fifth day that he's ah! gone without washing his hair and it still feels like he washed his hair. We washed his hair the day before. <laughs> Like, it's literally soft. And it's, like, so manageable. Like, if I wanted to braid his hair, I could braid his hair and use a comb through it. I could even use my hands through it from it being this soft. It looks a little bit dry in the front. But, like, yeah, if I did that, I could. it could still be, like, wearable. And if, like, you put, like, a little bit of water in the front... It would still be wearable. But I'm just showing you guys how I do his hair on the fifth day. And how you can also do your child's hair or your hair um, the fifth day. So after that, I am spraying his hair with this leave-in conditioner that I made with the conditioner. With that hemp's conditioner. It's just water and the hemp's <laughs> conditioner mixed together. And I use that every day. Um, when I refresh their hair it's actually really good and less on money because you don't have to buy a leave-in or a styler it's the bomb actually so when I start with this I usually I was saying I <laughs> I was gonna like talk through it but I was like nah I'm just gonna talk over it so when I start with his hair sometimes I usually start with water but this time I didn't. I just decided to go in with the leave-in that I have. So when you spread the leave-in, at first I spray it all over the head and then I make sure it's damp. So 
I take a piece of the hair and I use my thumb and I use tension and I pull and I'm like grabbing and I'm combing. So I grab, pull, comb, grab, pull, comb, grab. And if it's like detangled, just use your thumb. Don't like, don't try to comb it too hard. And then it'll come out with these smooth curls. I love this technique. I use it on my son, my other son and my hair too. I think it just comes out less frizzier and it comes out bomb. The bomb. So I do that through his whole head. I what I usually use like the comb, but I I did not have to use the comb. That's how um easy it was to use the spray. Like it detangles your hair very well. Very well. <laughs> And that's just that and some Vaseline. And when I um, do his hair in the front, I usually push it back and then it'll eventually come towards in the front. But this is what it looks like when I finish his hair with the leave-in. I also smooth it down so that he has no flyaways and no frizz in the back because that's where his most frizz is like in the top of his head at the back. It came out really good. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to diffuse Chevy's hair. Um, before I diffuse Chevy and some and after or after, I'll take Vaseline and I'll take like this much and I'll put it in my hands like this. And I'll just go like this and make sure it's like all on my hands. And I just smooth it down. And I'll just push it down. And then at the ends, I'll just scrunch it up a little bit so that it gets shiny and it's not that frizzy. And then before I blow dry his hair, hair um i used to hold it but this chair is so convenient so that i can put it right here and then when i want to position it up i'll just take it like this and put it on there and it positions up so if i have to do anything then i can leave him here and he can watch tv or play the game or whatever while he gets his hair blow dry so much easier So I'm going to go ahead and blow dry his hair. I have, oops, take this off. I think it's the settings that I have on the side When I diffuse my son's hair, my other son's hair, or my hair, I do not touch their hair. I just leave it alone because I feel like it just messes it up. Like at the end, you can shake the curl out, but I feel that hovering over the hair and making sure that it's completely dry makes your hair look so much better. You don't need to touch your hair when you diffuse it. You just let it dry because when you let it air dry, like you don't mess with it either. I don't know. I just feel like this is the best way and especially for if you have short hair and you're messing with it, like you're scrunching it up, like you're pushing the, the blow dryer towards your curls at the bottom, that just makes your hair even shorter. So if you just hover over your head, you'll have a better look, a way better look, and you'll have less frizz too because you're not messing with it. Okay, welcome back. I had previously recorded the um, the wash um, today. No, Friday I washed his hair. And then Sunday I sprayed the spray that I made. Um, that bottle I actually got from Target. So this spray bottle I actually got from Target. I think these are the best spray bottles. The only thing is that this bottle like shrinks up. But I think like all spray bottles do that when they don't have contain enough air. But this spray bottle is the best spray bottle to me. I've tried those other spray bottles. 
that have the um like you can keep spraying the 360 spray like that thing stops working that's annoying when especially when like you go to do your kids hair the next day or your hair and it's not working so i take the um the water um about to here and then i put conditioner in there about like five pumps and then i mix it together and i use this throughout the week so i don't have to buy a um, a leave-in or a styler or I don't even use the gel throughout the week. I may use it, but it's most likely I don't. I like using this and Vaseline. That helps a lot for their hair, especially for being frizzy and then being boys. But for the most part, the shampoo, um, I actually use it on my hair when I washed my um, when I washed my braids. I liked it. Um, it's just a regular shampoo. Um, when I used it on my boys' hair, it it was easy to um, use. Um, it's just a normal shampoo, uh, just a regular shampoo. Um, the conditioner is what I usually use the most. Like I use conditioner, like this is like the main product that I use the conditioner. It's definitely not greasy it's lightweight on the hair you can actually use this as a hair mask you can leave this in there for about like 10 15 minutes it just makes your hair so soft i even like with doing like a, a deep condition with diva curl or a deep condition with shea moisture their hair has never been that soft for that long like this is a great conditioner and hair mask this is the bomb dot com <laughs> like it leaves and like the process of detangling their hair my son's curls are a little bit more looser than my my um youngest son his hair his curls are more tighter so like in the back of his hair they tend to like mat up a lot because he's a two-year-old toddler he's just rubbing his head and they just get like stuck to like the back of his head this conditioner didn't do that and I'm like really surprised that it did not do that like it just felt like like how his hair is supposed to be like it's not it's not like hard and coarse it feels like you know like when you first get like a weave and like the curls on it Oh my, or like when you first wash your hair and like your hair is like soft but then the next day it's like hard it stays soft like and it keeps moisture in it too like it's like it's shiny this stuff is the bomb like I'm really loving this I kind of want to try the other products I definitely want to try the other ones but this one I highly recommend excuse me if you have curly hair highly recommend I'm definitely in love with this like it's the bomb is the bomb especially coming from diva curl unless that's like the only thing I want to like deal with because I don't have time to be trying like a hundred million different products but like now that this has happened to diva curl and i'm like forced to adventure out like i feel like this is cool that i'm trying new products and i'm really liking this i really don't like it i i love it actually like go buy this today <laughs> um but anyway i want to thank you guys for watching my channel um, like and subscribe because I'm definitely um, going to be more open to trying different products now. And the next product that I really want to try is Tracy Ellis Ross product. Like, I love her. I've always loved her. I love her mom. I love her whole family. Like, but she as a person is a great person. And I feel like me trying her products would really make me feel like more close to her <laughs> you see what i'm saying because like she's amazing and like 
why not? And I've seen her clothing line. I want to try her clothing line too. But I've seen her hair products and I've always loved her hair. I've always wanted my hair like that, but I didn't think my hair was curly. But now that I'm older and I don't want to put as much heat on my hair, like I figured out that I had curls. So like now I'm, I'm really Tracy Ellis Ross. <laughs> but anyway, like me loving a product is like loving the person who created it. Me loving Diva Curl was the person that I loved. I loved her because she was such a great person and she loved her curls. Like she just like, she just like acknowledging, she's not acknowledging. She's like telling you about how much she loves her hair and how much you can enjoy loving your hair. No matter if it's gray, no matter if it's, if it's black, it's your hair and to love it. That's why I love Diva Curl. So me switching to Tracy Ellis Ross is like, I love her. Like, I love the person who created it. Why not try something? Try somebody's product who you love. So that's what I will be um, trying next. So like and subscribe and hit the notifications so that you get everything that I'm going to be um, doing. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy. Um, have a good day and God bless.